नमस्ते आई एम सुनील सापकोटा कोपिन माई सिटी एशिया अफिशियर फ्रम नेपाल करेन्टली पर्सुईंग बी एस सी फरेस्ट्री इन कलेज अफ नेचुरल रिशोर्सेस लोबेसा पुनाखा अंडर रोयल यूनिवर्सिटी अफ भूटान Flooding, famine, and rising sea levels will put millions at risk in one of the huge portion of population, and they are likely to lose their homes as calamity sweeps the world's most vulnerable region in Asia, as UN states. Millions of people will be affected by the coastal flooding and land loss as the global temperature rises, ice cap melts, and sea level rises. The majority of it will be in East, Southeast, and South Asia. Some small island. state are expected to face very high impacts in addition drought and water scarcity pose risk in urban areas with risk amplified for those lacking essential infrastructure and services for mitigation climate change will slow down economic growth further erode food security and trigger new poverty traps particularly in developing areas and emerging hot spot of hunger climate change throughout 21st century is leading to increase ill health in asia For example, likelihood of injury, disease, and death due to more intense heat waves and fires, increased likelihood of undernutrition resulting from diminished food production in Asia, and increased risk of foodborne and waterborne disease. At the same time, coral reefs are facing devastating destruction triggered by increasing amount of carbon dioxide dissolving in seawater and acidifying Indian Ocean. If not me who is responsible to preserve safer earth for my next generation our ancestor did what he would we just cannot stay playing blame games and be victimized by the tragedy of commons we are the future of our only living place thus we are the one to take action for better future and longer life of every being on this earth you know everything deserves a better future And for the better future, we need to start somewhere. My, my dreams to thrive for the safer future of the Earth has started. When will you start? I am an activist with motivation and determination. We will add energy in climate action. As a youth concerned, and I can make my age group concerned through public speaking, messages, or. reaction in social media and participation in huge events like co-ed thirteen the activities inspires youth around the world which will boost climate campaign and make it huge i want to sharpen my skills and gain some more knowledge and education on global policy relating to climate campaign and youth strategy to be a well equipped fighter against climate change i want to learn and raise awareness about climate change which is appealing me to participate in 13th conference of youth COE 13 I am from a developing country Nepal with the top of the world which is quite insignificant towards the contribution of all the greenhouse gas production or vast deforestation the country I am currently residing the last Shangri-La the exemplary Bhutan People from the one of the most diverse region in the world, the Himalayas, has still insignificant contribution in gross carbon production. But this region lacks competence in mitigation and adaptation of influence of climate change, and they are suffering the development of the industrialized world. Are global leaders really aware about the changing lifestyle of people in my world? Do they have consideration for right to live for people in this region? I really doubt. I'm here to tell youths that come, let's make contribution from our side to compel and appeal global leaders to act for small island melting glaciers and diminishing water resources in Asia. Let's make them to think about indigenous and their lifestyles residing in asia in our region let's say green cheers come let's have a beautiful art for our deserving next generation join koe thank you